What's up you guys, Shri Kanase here. So your keywords have the potential of making or breaking your e-commerce brand, especially when you're using Google ads. But exactly how do you find keywords the right way? How do you make it a quicker process so you don't end up spending hours and hours just trying to find those keywords so that you can do proper search engine optimization techniques? Well, I'm happy to say that recently I came across a very unique and secretive strategy when it comes to finding keywords, which I actually had no idea about even though I've been running Google Ads for years and years now and the best thing about this strategy when it comes to finding those keywords is this is more on the data driven side meaning you will need to have a little bit of data already with campaigns that you have running on your account in order to even find these keywords in the first place so what happens is if you already have enough data you have campaigns running and then you find these keywords it becomes almost expected that you get results especially if you haven't already used these keywords within your title descriptions and so on and so forth but it's really a strategy 95% of e-commerce store owners have zero clue about and the interesting thing is this strategy as you can see on my screen right here actually works even with performance max campaigns now what do we know about performance max we know that we have little to no control over performance max campaigns because obviously with google ads we don't necessarily have a keyword section within the pmax campaign directly and as a result we can't really know what keyword is working what keyword is not working so let's jump inside my account right here and actually look at exactly what i'm talking about and this strategy is actually subdivided into two different categories let's start off with category number one which is essentially strategy number one so if if we first of all go inside a performance max campaign because let's assume now that since performance max are literally the only campaign types when it comes to shopping that we can actually run besides standard shopping you might also have some p max campaigns going but what you want to do is you got to make sure first of all you have a performance max campaign that has been spending money for quite some time now and this p max campaign it already has about 1800 euros of ad spend since the beginning if we look at this campaign we can see it has been running for over 30 days now so what you want to do is you want to first of all go on over to the inside section on the left hand side and then on the inside section you will see a very colorful chart right here it says all of the different things that are going on with their performance max campaign at the moment scroll all the way down until you get to this section right here and if you read the title it says search terms grouped into categories now how you're performing on them and opportunities to grow so this is a big relevation for a lot of e-commerce store owners because if you look at the, what the first part says it says search terms which essentially translates to keywords and it says how you're performing on them, which means data driven, you're already gotten results on them. And this is telling you how your campaigns are performing with them and opportunities to grow. And this is the third banger, which essentially means this also has potential keywords for you that you can use in your titles and descriptions or just any type of search engine optimization you decide to do that you are, might already not be using. So it's a three in one. It's really helpful for you to make your overall product pages better. Now let's look at them a bit better because you don't necessarily want to just devour what you see right here right away. You got to kind of fix up what you are seeing in terms of the column. So the first column we need to set up is the conversion value column. We're going to click on this little drop down right here and change this to conversions. And what you want to do once you do that is you want to rank it from the greatest number of conversions all the way down to the lowest. And keep in mind, depending on when you have launched this campaign, you might not necessarily have any keywords at the top showing. So instead of what you want to do, if you have zero conversions for any of these keywords is you want to change this to impressions. So we're going to change this to impressions and we're going to rank it by the most impressions at the top all the way in descending order. So either of this works, we're going to go back to the conversion uh, example because it's just a better way to look at things. So we're going to look at conversions and then we're going to rank it by the greatest to the least. Now, what you want to do is you want to open up the first one that's at the very top and just look at what's appearing right here. Obviously, since this is the one at the top, it should have keywords that have the most kind of overall conversions for you. And by the way, if you want more data here and if you have been running it for quite some time now, change this time period from last seven days all the way up to the maximum amount possible. So in this case, last 28 days. And as you can see right away, this kind of changed up completely. And if we look at conversions, we can see the top conversion keywords right here are 2.50 and the next one 2.0 and then 
five and so on and so forth. So now that we open this up, we can see that there are multiple different keywords popping up here with basically all of them having some kind of work done on them on got new results in some way, shape or form. But we're not good enough with this yet. We want to take things a bit further. So what you do is you click on view details because once you click on view details, you will see that if you click on load more search terms, it will actually tell you exactly what conversions got you sales and it will kind of rank them in descending order. Again, if it doesn't just make sure to change this column up right here and click on conversions one more time to have all of these search terms populated properly. But we see the top one right here got all of the conversions. So this little ad group or this subcategory as Google likes to call it got 2.50 conversions. And the first keyword was the only one that took got 2.50 conversions. But now we know that that this first keyword ranking here is the keyword which got a sale. So now we can proceed in two different ways. Way number one, we can now use this keyword to then do more keyword research by using something like the keyword planner tool. Way number two, we can now incorporate this keyword if we haven't already within our titles and our descriptions. Either of these work. And by the way, I recommend that you use both of these ways. But depending on how many different keywords actually got your results, you want to note down about 10 to 15 different keywords getting your results, because then what we will be doing is we'll be incorporating those keywords again into our further keyword research strategy. So using the keyword planner tool or again, just incorporating these into our actual product titles, product descriptions and so on and so forth. It's the same way of doing keyword research, but we don't necessarily have to do any more keyword research if we already have different keywords here that have all gotten conversion. So that's essentially the first way. Just open up that given ad group. And again, it's under the inside section of we are performance max campaign. Open up the first subcategory or the first search category. Look at what got sales, then move on to the second search category, which got you sales. So in this case, we're going to go back to conversions right here and we're going to rank it from highest to least. And we're going to open up that subcategory and look at the view details right here one more time. And then we're going to click on load more search terms, make sure we're looking at the search terms that got us the most deal. So now with this search category, completely different keywords compared to the first category I was looking at. And that's because this e-commerce brand I'm looking at, which is under my Google ads agency, by the way, which if you're currently doing $30,000 or more per month in revenue, you need a little bit of extra help scaling to the next level with Google ads. Go on to my website at yourmarketing.com and book a free call with me to see how we can possibly work together and make that happen. But with this subcategory, we see a bunch of different keywords coming up again. What the same strategy applies here. Just note down the keywords that got you the sales or with the most impressions and then use them to either incorporate within your titles for those given niche products or then do further keyword research with them. But that's essentially the first way to do further keyword research. This is like the secret strategy I had no clue about until I was doing further research into it. And then I came across the conversion section of the inside section. So that's for performance max. But what is the second kind of secret strategy I came upon that is going to work wonders when it comes to Google ads, when it comes to your e commerce brand. So for this, you will need to make sure that you're on the campaigns overview section like I am right here. So from the campaign overview section, we're going to go under here to keywords on the left hand side. And under keywords, we're going to go ahead and click on auction inside. So once you're on this page, you might see two different things. The first thing you might see is just this one line at the very top, which says you and then it just tells you impression share overlap rate position above rate and so on and so forth. Or it might show you a bunch of different websites or URLs coming up here. So what you essentially want to do is you want to change this from this month to all time, because the main reason why you might not be seeing a lot of results is because you're looking at too small of a time frame. We got to kind of increase that to then see the bigger portion of data. Once you change it to all time, now you should start seeing all of this different data points popping up these different URLs. And now your main goal will be to look into all of these URLs popping up and to see what is exactly coming up. So if you did things right, you might not necessarily be seeing actual keywords popping up, but you might be seeing URLs popping up. So your main goal now is to go on each URL and actually see if these URLs actually match what you are trying to sell. Because if it does match the next step of this strategy, once you have identified all of the URLs that are actually matching is to go to the keyword planner tool from the keyword planner tool. You want to go ahead and go on to this first option, which says discover new keywords, but we're not going to type any keyword here. We're going to go to the second option, which says start with a website. So once you open that up, 
you want to go ahead and enter the URL of one by one of your competitors, which you actually jotted down. So in this case, what we're going to do is we're going to assume that this is one of our brands, which popped up right here as within the inside section of the keywords. And we're going to use the entire site to then click get results because once you click get results, what will happen is if you did things right, if you made sure that that website is very similar to you, you will now have different keywords popping up all keywords, which this brand is getting identified for directly by Google. And the beauty about this is some of these keywords can actually lead you into finding even more winning keywords. Now, sometimes you will find that the keywords that pop up, they actually don't have a lot of search volume. Like the one with the highest search volume, it's only 1900 and then it goes down and becomes lower and lower. So in this case, we might not necessarily find the best possible keywords here, but the main goal is not necessarily to find the best possible keyword here. It's actually to then copy one of these main keywords, for example, best printer 3d, just copy that, go on over here to the keyword planner tool, erase the URL completely. Now go to start with keywords, paste it in and then get shown a brand new set of keywords, which we had no idea about previously. And as you can see, a bunch of different keywords popped up related to best printers 3d, but that's not the only thing. Now, Google, if you see at the very top, it says broaden your search. Google will also now start trying to suggest different types of keywords to you, which you then can use to look further into. So printer 3d is one of them. And if you click get results, you might see different kinds of keywords popping up. But then here we see printer 2d or best scanner 3d. And as you can see, the overall keyword search volume is starting to increase. So just using that kind of keyword section, looking at the inside section, release you into a whole new realm of different keywords, which you might not necessarily have an idea about. And then now you can do further keyword for winning keywords. And the best part is these are most likely going to be good keywords for you because your main brand that you are kind of overlapping with that you have some kind of similarity with it's already ranking for that brand. So obviously that means these keywords are good for you to actually do research into. But once you kind of find these keywords, you can do further research into them, identify the top 10 and top 15, and then use them to insert into the titles, descriptions, or the landing pages in general, or just do further research with them. The way you go, it doesn't necessarily matter with any of these two strategies, as long as you're identifying the top 10 to top 15 keywords, and then doing further keyword research following some of my other videos. But this is essentially the strategy I'm using, not only for my own e-commerce brands, but also for my clients' e-commerce brands under my Google Ads agency, your marketing, which if you're currently doing $30,000 or more per month in revenue, you need a little bit of extra help scaling to the next level with Google. Go on to my website at yourmarketing.com and book a free call with me to see how we can possibly work together and make that happen. But if you found any type of value in this video, make sure to drop a like, make sure to subscribe and watch any of these two videos right in front of my face to take your Google Ads journey to the next level. And I will see you in my next video.